everybody, this is OD, and I'm about to show you guys The Haunted. Remember that game you brought a while back? It was called Unreal Tournament 3. You played it and you were like, oh, wait a minute, this isn't Gears of War, or wait a minute, this isn't Unreal Tournament 2004. Well, now you have a reason to install it again. The Haunted is a survival horror co-op mod for the PC consisting of up to 4 to 8 players. As you can already tell, this game takes a large page from games such as Resident Evil 5 and Gears of War, but with an added unique twist, such as punching zombies in the face and Chuck Norris roundhouse kicking all of them to the top it off. Let's just quickly go down the list of what you can do in this game. Punch a zombie's head off with your bare hands. Check! Quickly dash and falcon punch a zombie making him blow up into pieces. Check! Uppercut a zombie after coming out of a roll. Mario's crazy antics making an appearance. Check. Now that we got that out of the way, let's just go over the game itself. There are three game modes, survival, demonizer, and battle. Sadly, I can only show you survival mode because I couldn't get four of the friends to download and try the game. Mm, yeah. In survival mode, you fight an onslaught of demon zombies for a set period of time. Whether it's a 10 minute game or a 30 minute game, these guys want to rip your head off. And you think with the odds, you're pretty fucked, right? Not necessarily. The mod incorporates a very unique and handy dodging and blocking mechanic. For instance, when using the blocking system, if you don't ready your weapon and run, you'll take less damage from attacks. If you do ready your weapon, you'll get the full set of damage from the attack plus extra if you're hit from the front. Expanding on that, the dodging system makes you invincible until you come out of the roll. Also, you can perform melee attacks once you roll out. But, if you don't want to run all the time, the mod likes to push you into killing more enemies by adding an experience setup. Killing zombies in a certain way will look cool and not only that, but give you XP. This XP can be used to upgrade your arsenal from a dinky pistol, shotgun, Uzi, or knife to a huge M60 machine gun or double barrel shotgun. The guns are really cool once you level them up, but I really love the knife upgrades. First you start off with a little knife, nothing special about it. But later on you can upgrade this baby to a chainsaw. And you know you're in business when you have a chainsaw that can spark barrels with you. From the chainsaw you upgrade to the Wee Whacker from Hell, or Witch Hammer as the game likes to call it. And finally, the Typhoon Glaive. You are practically a god with this thing. Any zombie messes with you gets a neck full of blade. This is the perfect run and gun weapon and one shots every enemy. Come on Vegas, bring it, I'll cut your face off! Oh what, you want some too, huh? Oh what, come on, bring it, bring it! Oh, your friend didn't get enough apparently. Here, take some of that too, huh? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I got plenty for all of you! <laughs> Sorry, I got a little bit carried away. Just remember this though, all kills are not the same. Experiment around, weaker weapons give you more XP and bigger guns give you less XP. So you shouldn't spend your time going around killing everything with the best weapon in the game. Aside from the upgrades, you can find plenty of special weapons in the maps, such as flamethrowers, sniper rifles, and my favorite, a grenade launcher. So throw this in with the special grenades and devastating arsenal and you got yourself a pretty badass zombie killing game. With some gorgeous maps and a very polished feel to it all, why not check out The Haunted? After all, the creators did win the Unreal Mod Contest, which is worth 1 million dollars, and turned out to be 50 grand in a publishing license though. But do yourself a favor anyway and play this game, and hopefully down the road we'll see this sucker popping up in stores soon. I had fun with it, my friends had fun with it, and I'm pretty sure you'll have fun with it too if you want to change the pace of mods. And to The Haunted team, good job, you guys made a really kick-ass mod. 